always been a close session. Okay. Yeah, we swear in the officer, though. Mr. Chairman, excuse me. Okay. Uh, that is a clarified point. Again, it is under your intent on item number six that we're going to recess into closed session to consider personnel matters, and you stated it's going to be the officer. <coughs> we are going, the intent is, is to go to recess the regular meeting to go into a special meeting for the purposes if the body so desires to appoint the officers or officers of the uh, MTA. Well, I didn't get notification about uh, appointing the officers of the MTA. Well, everybody was noticed. Well, tell me where that notice is. It's on the special agenda. Uh, that was the notice. But that's what I'm saying. Is so in item number six, we're going to go into closed session to do the special notice. What we are doing, when we get to item number six, we won't even call it. We'll, uh, we'll recess for the purposes of going into special session. And Special the, session or closed session? Special. The special, it's a special meeting that is called, and at that time, we will go into closed session for the purposes of consideration of the selection. Uh, which, which officers? Officers, the C, could be the CEO, could be the uh, secretary, could be anyone. Mr. General Counsel, can we do that this way? I mean, I don't, I'm a board member, don't even know which officers are going to be discussed. Uh, Mr. Chairman, Ms. Molina, it's our opinion that the notice provided under the agenda for the special meeting and the regular meeting will support the appointment of any officers of the uh, MTA that result from the closed session. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, I'd, like to, do I'd like to ask the county council, perhaps they might be able to also address the statute. I believe the statute provides for some very specific things that this entity must do upon organization. And uh, I think that there are certain requirements that we have to comply with, and I think some of them are <coughs> personnel requirements and some of them are officer election requirements. Are that, is that correct? Uh, that's correct, um, Ms. Burke. That the first uh, order of business actually uh, should be to swear you all in. Right. Can we, can we get back to that? Can we go to the swearing in? When we get to the appropriate item, then we'll be more than, I'll be more than glad to discuss so it. So we'll be discussing but, the agenda after the swearing in? No, yeah. we'll be going through the agenda, and when the item comes up that you are concerned about, Ms. Molina, we'll be more than glad to discuss it. But Mr. Chair, the question may be the order of the agenda. Well, that's fine. Is that not a point of order? That's a point of order. Your, your point is morning. not well taken. Mr. So Chairman. Can we swear <laughs> in the opposite? Mr. Chairman, uh, just to... Okay, excuse me. On, on item two. Uh, We're not even at item two. Okay. I was just We're, saying that there's no uh, permanent or acting position because no position should be filled until there's an open recruitment. So everybody acting today is only acting. Okay. Can, could we swear in the, uh, the members? Thank you. Would you please stand? And I will read the oath and ask you to say I do at the conclusion of it. Would you please raise your right hand? Do you, during such time as you hold the office of director or alternate of the Los Angeles County Metropolitan Transportation Authority, solemnly swear or affirm that you will defend, support, and defend the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of California, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are about to enter. Congratulations. <laughs> before, uh, before we uh, uh, proceed with the agenda, let me uh, now introduce to you the a newly appointed uh, Secretary of Business and Transportation for the State of California uh, just uh, 
appointed by uh, Governor Wilson. Let me ask uh, Secretary Sales if he could say a few words. Secretary. Good morning, Councilman. Uh, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. I've been on this job all of three days now. Um, we certainly look forward to working with the uh, MTA. Um, obviously, transportation is a high priority of the Wilson administration, and I certainly would do all I can to work with you. And I suspect we looked, uh, we'll look forward to a very lively and productive meeting today. Thank you all very much. Next order of business. Next order of business is uh, item number three, election of the MTA uh, chair and vice chair. Nominations are now open for the office of Metropolitan Transportation Authority chair. Mr. Uh, Mr. Brody. Mr. Dana. I'd, I would like to nominate uh, Richard Alatori for the chairman. Second. Are there any more nominations? Without objection, nominations are closed. We'll dispense with the uh, roll call. All in favor of Richard Alatori for chair, please signify by saying aye. 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 Noes. <laughs> Bad, Nick. <laughs> Congratulations, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the next item is the election of the vice chair, which uh, you will conduct. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to nominate Larry Zarian. All right, Larry Zarian. Second. Motion to nominate Mr. Zarian. There's a motion to second. I will uh, nominate uh, Supervisor Edelman. A second. Okay. Any other nominations? Mr. Chairman, uh, when we close the nominations, I would also state that we should have a policy where we rotate. We should have a policy that rotates between city, county, and independent cities. So that, that this is a, the policy that this board will have. We will, you know, that was the intent. That was the intent of uh, the rules that we have, that there would be an alternation of the, the chairmanship. Mm -hmm. right, domination. When are we going to discuss those rules? Is that, will those rules apply? These are, well, we have, we have interim rules, and then there will be a committee set up to formulate the well, permanent rules. Mr. Chairman. Have we adopted the interim rules? I'd like to discuss the interim rules before we, we uh, that's is this the appropriate that, time to do no, that? Item four is the, the rule. No. Uh, before we uh, uh, take this action, uh, I would like to suggest a, uh, a rule that I think is important for the establishment of this new organization. Uh, we are all new. We are all unacquainted with one another. Some of us know one another. Others don't. Uh, it's important that this uh, board and uh, not delegate uh, its authority. So I'm going to uh, move that one of the uh, rules that we adopt shall be that the <coughs> officers serve at the pleasure uh, of this board. And I think that that rule ought to be adopted uh, before we proceed uh, with the uh, election. And maybe we will want to amend this at some future time but at this stage of the game i don't think that we should uh, we should make it very clear that these officers are serving at the pleasure of the board and i would like to add that it is my view that once the president is selected he should have considerable authority to make decisions and that not every decision should be subject to review by this board but I think we should retain that fundamental authority, and I so move. Mr. Second. Chairman, I believe that there is a motion pending for election of vice chairman, right. and I and would I like will, to have a vote for the uh, county council. and deem uh, the motion out of order. Let us stay with the agenda. You'll have an opportunity, Mr. Browdy, to uh, make your uh, motion at the appropriate time, which is on item number four.